back in business up early on this Monday morning big 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 business today with the GOP the Republican convention getting underway here I am again looking at the articles in the Time magazine September 08 a whole issue devoted to McCain to the Republicans don't know Peter Beinert Beinert I don't know how you pronounce his name I don't know if he's full of beans or full of truth but I do know that I've thought myself for some time, just old dumb me, that hey, the mess that George Bush has put this country in, either party that gets their candidate elected at this time in our history faces such a mess and such debt, such a polarized public that governing at this time is going to be so difficult decisions that have to be made are so hard in that the public is so split about what's right what's wrong that that gummit you got to make decisions that aren't going to be popular in any way I had to laugh at Mr. Obama Senator Obama promising everything but the kitchen sink and I think maybe he promised it too and I know he's sincere in that he wants to do for our country the, the, all the good things he said hey the reality is that with the debt that we have inherited the lack of respect in the world that we have inherited for whoever's president after Mr. George W. Bush has to make decisions that are hurtful because we have to face reality we're going to have to face up the dead gum you can't just keep selling our kids and our grandkids and our great grandkids and our great 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 grandkids future by running up debts and not paying all this baloney of keeping the taxes low when you're spending money like crazy always reminiscing about how much better our our greatest generation was well we went into debt too but we didn't go into debt to this stay in debt and leave it all up to somebody else and somebody else's children and on down the line our descendants to have to pay off for the mistakes that have been made during the George W. Bush administration And what Mr. Bennett's article falling upward he really is saying well let's just go to the story he's got a lot he says before I get to the part I'm going to quote but he gets right down to it if McCain wins there's simply no way a McCain administration could pass the kind of large-scale conservative initiative think of Reagan's big tax cut in 81 or George W. Bush's big tax cut in 2001 that fires up the GOP base facing large aggressive Democratic majorities in Congress McCain now this is if he's elected will have to drink deeply from the well of bipartisan compromise if he wants to get anything done the alternative will be veto upon veto as he tries to remain ideologically pure. Well, that doesn't sound like McCain. After all, he hasn't always been a conservative stalwart. He opposed Bush's tax cuts in 2001. He has teamed up with Democrats on immigration. He's greener than many of his fellow Republicans when it comes to global warming and he's often been perceived as half-hearted on the cultural issues beloved by the Christian right. The thing he cares about most is foreign policy and he might well give Democrats much of what they want on domestic issues if they'll let him and David Petras 
run the show in Iraq. Whoever gets elected faces devilish choices. That's me, not the article. Going back to the article, the kind of coalition government, no, this kind, the kind of, uh, that we were just talking about as I read what he said, what Bennett said, this kind of coalition government might be good for the country, but it would be disastrous for the GOP. If you think Republicans are demoralized now, wait until McCain stamps the GOP label on higher taxes, tougher regulation, and lower and looser rules on immigration. We have to face our problems. We have to face the problems created by the George W. Bush eight years. And it doesn't make any difference whether you're the Republican that's elected or the Democrat that's elected. You've got to make some hard decisions and decisions that the people that keep wanting to keep the taxes down. You can't keep the taxes down when you're putting us in a hole deeper and deeper and deeper while the rich get richer and the poor get poorer. And that's Dean Riggs, not Bennett. The ball, and now back to Bennett's article. The bald reality is this. The public is more eager for activist government than it has been in years. American politics is moving left no matter who wins in 2008. The real question is whether Obama becomes the face of that leftward shift, which will remind Republicans why they loathe, that's a nice word for hate, Democrats. Or McCain does when, in which case Republicans will increasingly loathe, hate themselves. If McCain loses in 2008, the GOP will eventually come back and win. If he wins, on the other hand, they will lose and lose and lose. End of comment. No, end of quoting the article. And now for my comment. Dad gummit, it's time that the greed of the GOP philosophy be put to rest because we're stealing, in our greed, we're stealing our children and our grandchildren's future. We're stealing our dignity, our rights as an American country that's decent. We ought to wake up and realize that we've gotten so rotten that hate mongers like hate ball Rush Limbaugh and his ilk become millionaires working to divide us into the haves and have nots and to hell with the have-nots, to hell with our goodness as a country. Yeah, I'm a radical on that. Isn't it awful to be a radical to favor being a member of a decent country that follows the principles of God as revealed by the life of Jesus? Wake up, right-wing preachers. Wake up, right-wing wing Christians. Let's try being Christian for a change. Let's try following God for a change. Let's try following the teachings of Jesus for a while. See where that puts you politically. Amen, brothers and sisters. God bless you. You don't have to be bad people. You can be good people. It's a choice, you know. And the politics, politics is a kind of a dirty business. Always has been and always will be. Bless us, God. Help our country. Help us all. Amen.